back again healthy living with Ms. Renee the Barber. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you have not yet had a chance, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. In today's video, we will be making achiote salmon and paired with roasted pineapple salsa. Mmm. <laughs> we will be out in the backyard again. Just because we're going out back to the grill outdoors in my backyard, don't be afraid to use the indoor grill and grill your salmon on the stovetop. All right, before we even get started, you know what we like to do? We like to take a sip of water. Do you have your water? If you do not have your water, go ahead, it's okay. Pause this video, go get your water. When you return, we will be here. All right, you got your water? All right, let's take a squig. Without any further ado, folks, hey, let's just go ahead and get that salsa prepared. After we prepare the salsa, we're gonna slide it in the refrigerator so that it'll be nice and chilled when we're ready to serve. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, of course you know, we are going to core and peel our pineapple and spiralize it. All right, folks, just a couple more twists. We're almost there. I can almost feel the bottom. Probably about right there. Mm, there it is. I feel it. You ready to pull it out? Let's pull it out. This thing is so cool. Now, push it. The core is still inside and we also have some juice. We're going to save our pineapple juice. So let's pour our pineapple juice. Remember they're all connected. They're all connected so we have to slice it. Now they're not connected. Perfect for grilling. All right, let's prepare our jalapeno. Now you recall, you have to be very careful when you're handling your jalapeno. It's the oil that's inside that will get on your fingers. You don't want to accidentally touch your eyes with the oil on your fingers. So we'll put our jalapenos in our bowl as well. Love, 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 love. Roasted red peppers. See, this has three little knobs, three knobs. You see the three knobs? We're gonna cut them right at the knob. We're gonna do the same for this one. Awesome. See how that just fell? Awesome. We're going to cut the inside. Get those seeds out. Didn't take long. We're just going to pull them out. This one has four knobs. I heard if it has four knobs, it's sweeter. You ever heard that before? Let me know. Drop it in the comment. Now, if there's any like fleshy parts, let's just take that out right now. All right, let's start with our red onion. I've already used this onion before. We're gonna cut it right down there on both sides. Awesome, look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so we'll just slice it. Maybe just maybe three slices we can do. I wanna show you how thick I'm cutting it, see? Can you guys see how thick I'm cutting? Okay. One more slice. All right, we got a new kitchen gadget here that I've never used on my on one of my videos. So we're gonna use it today. I'm gonna show you how it works. This is our cilantro. This particular 
gadget has several different holes, so it doesn't matter what size your stem is, okay? All right, let's try this piece, okay? Let's just try this piece. We're gonna stick the stem in the hole. Do you see it coming through? You see the stem? All right, I don't know. No, it fit right in that hole. All right, so we're good. Our next step is to prepare the Achi Ote marinade. In this package, I have two thirds of the brick seasoning. So I'm gonna use what's left in this package. I've used this package for another recipe, but for today, we're gonna use the, the remaining content. This is about two thirds left. Remember how, uh, let me take it out of the package so you can see how vibrant the color is. As I mentioned, it, it will change your salmon color. Fourth cup of olive oil, our white wine vinegar, fourth cup. Salt to taste. And pepper. We're gonna put our onion. Now, our onion, of course, we're not gonna, we're gonna cut it just a little bit just so that the magic bullet doesn't have to work as hard. All right, this is the juice that was left over from the pineapple, right, when we prepared our pineapple. So we're just gonna pour it in there. These, uh, this was some chunks of pineapple. The last thing is our garlic. You know what, I'm gonna use my garlic chopper. So I don't want these pieces to be too big for the garlic chopper. Let's try to get that last one in. That's, it does say on the instructions that it holds up to two, piece, two garlic cloves. So there we go. Take out the blade. It'll chop that garlic. All right, so that's it, folks, for our ingredients for the marinade. Now, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and blend it. All right, let's see what we got. Awesome. You know what I forgot to put in here? A little bit of lime. I sure did. I wanted to put a little bit of lime in there. So, I'm gonna put a little bit of lime. We got our baggie here. Pour that right in there. Put our salmon in. This is our salmon. Skin on. I'm gonna take the skin off. Now, our salmon, we're gonna seal the bag Put it in the refrigerator. Let it stay in the refrigerator marinate for at least, what? One hour. Look at that color. Yes, you see the salmon in there? Yes. While we're waiting for the salmon to marry into all of this goodness, we are going to roast our vegetables and fruit. That means we're going in the backyard. All right, what do you guys think about my peach tree? It's trying to bear some fruit. What you guys think? Is it peach season? Oh yeah. That nice? Beautiful. So when we place our pineapples on the grill, we put them on the outer edge where there's less heat so they won't burn as quick. So we'll set the peppers down, skin side down. We want that charcoal grill look.
So we'll do four minutes each side. Let's get ready to prepare our salsa. First, we're gonna chop the red pepper. Don't they look delicious? Let's just chop them up real quick. Our jalapeno. Our onion. Let me chop that up. All right, so if you have any left over, you can just go ahead and put it in a jar, put it in the refrigerator, and keep it until the next use. <laughs> okay, y'all. It's about time to close out. Mm. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making this video. You're talking about delicious. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. Here's the healthy living. And I'll see you next video. <laughs>